Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Classic Confections. I'm your host, Kendra, and today I thought it would be fun to share some Thanksgiving outfit ideas. So the big turkey day is coming up in just a few days, and I was going through my closet trying to decide what I'm going to wear, and I thought, you know what? Let me film it and give you guys some ideas too. So I know that this year's Thanksgiving is going to be a lot different for a lot of us, myself included. It's just going to be me, Christian, and Eric at home dining together as a family and we'll probably FaceTime our extended family in Michigan and in Florida. So with that being said, if you are going to be like us and just like a small group of people, um, I do want to share a blog post. I did this blog post like maybe back in 2010, 2011, um, but it's basically my super small but delicious pared down Thanksgiving dinner. I'll leave a link to it down below, but literally I have made this dinner like over the years I probably made it like I don't know half a dozen times and it's my go-to when it's just gonna be like sometimes it's just Eric and I like before we had Christian <laughs> this is the dinner that I make for Thanksgiving when it's just the two of us or now three of us so I will share that with you guys and it takes about 90 minutes to prepare and it's super delicious just add like cornbread muffins a dessert and you're good to go so with that being said, let's get into the outfits, starting with the ensemble that I'm wearing right now. All right, peeps, so here we have our first ensemble, this beautiful baby doll dress. So in all honesty, I'll most likely wear some variation of this for my Thanksgiving this year. And the reason why, it's just like the perfect holiday outfit. Baby doll so dresses are so cute and flattering and they can be dressed up or down depending on how you style it and the accessories. And most importantly, they are super comfortable. So there is nothing like tight or cinched in at the waist. I can eat and indulge to my heart's content and I don't have to worry about that uncomfortable like really full filling. So <laughs> this one I got from H&M maybe sometime last year. I have baby doll dresses in my wardrobe in all different kind of colors, shapes, prints and I have this exact one in like black floral as well. So the things I'm going to show you guys a lot of them I've had in my wardrobe for a few years so I will link everything down below that I can and I'm also going to do a companion blog post and just give you guys a bunch of different options if you don't have something in your wardrobe and you maybe want to run out and get something so with that being said this one I think is so cute I love the snake print I like baby doll dresses paired with over the knee boots especially like that's a look that I like to um, do a lot in the fall and winter time so these particular boots are suede over the knee boots that I got from Circus by Sam Edelman. They are super comfy. They have like a little block heel. And I just went with accessories. You know, it's the holiday. So I wanted to do a little bling sparkle. <laughs> so I have these sparkly earrings, um, this necklace that I've had for years, and just some bangle bracelets. So easy peasy. If you wanted to give it some more definition, you could belt it. But I would say for Thanksgiving, you know, just keep it easy. <laughs> you want to make sure you save some room for that pumpkin pie or sweet potato pie, whatever you're into. And there we have it. Okay, the second option I want to give you guys is the sweater dress. I live, I kid you not, in sweater dresses all fall and winter long. Like I have a whole closet full of sweater dresses and yeah, they're just perfect. They're so cozy and easy to throw on. And again, you can dress it up or down. So I'm gonna give you two options here. This is more like the laid back version. So this sweater dress I got from H&M last year and it's made of like a sweatshirt material, very thick. And it has these like kind of cap sleeves that are still very, very much on trend this year and again I just left on those like over the knee boots for like a little dressier kind of jazzy option but you could easily like toss this on with a pair of sneakers like some Stan Smiths or something like that um, and go about your day so this is one option for a sweater dress all right so another sweater dress option is this that's actually part of a two-piece set and so I'll show you how it looks with the sweater all right, so here we go. <laughs> so this is the duster cardigan that comes with it. And what I like about this, it has cozy pockets, number one. And I don't know, this little duster 
feels like a bathrobe <laughs> so it's super comfy but if you just like popped a little brooch right here you could definitely dress it up some sparkly jewels and whatnot again this is another one you could also dress down with a pair of sneakers in this case i'm wearing these philip Lim mule sandals not sandals but just mules uh heels that i got a while back super comfy and well i mean comfy for three inch heels <laughs> But yeah, I love this one. And then also too, I think this will be great as well if you wanted to do a brooch or you could also do some like long um, chain necklaces too to jazz it up a bit. But yeah, it's just an easy, cute, comfy, but still polished outfit for Thanksgiving. All right, guys. And the third option, you can't go wrong with a good old maxi dress. <laughs> so this one is perfect for Thanksgiving because it just screams fall. And I like this one. It's like a boho kind of fit. So it's very loose and comfy. Like again, I'm all about outfits that give me room to expand. <laughs> Especially on Thanksgiving. So this one is perfect. I love the little balloon sleeves. But then they're elasticized at the wrist to give you some shape. And so there you go. Again, this is another one that you could belt for a different look. But you know, if you need some extra room as the night wears on, you could easily just take that belt off uh and there you have it very cute and comfy this is very much like um reminds me of like in the 60s when people would entertain and they would wear caftans like if i was hosting people at my home and wanted to look comfortable but put together i might wear something like this so on to the next one All right, peeps, so next I want to show you a casual outfit idea. You can't go wrong with, well, you can't go wrong with any of these outfits, but especially <laughs> if you want more casual, you can't go wrong with leggings and a big oversized sweater. Again, I have two fall uniforms. There's the sweater dress and then there's this look, the tunic sweater and a pair of leggings. So this sweater, I think I got from Anthropology. Uh, many many years ago but I love these dramatic balloon sleeves and you can find these everywhere these days and this one too it kind of like slips off the shoulder too if you want that kind of moment <laughs> and then for leggings cult favorite um these Spanx uh faux leather leggings I love these leggings they suck you in but they're not uncomfortable but they do have like a little tummy control here which i do like and then for shoes i'm going to give you guys a sneak preview i'm going to talk more about these in an upcoming haul video but these coach booties that i recently got <gasps> I love them so much. <laughs> so yeah, there you have it. So this is like a no brainer look, especially if you're the one doing the cooking <laughs> and you're going to be in the kitchen all day. Um, I probably wouldn't wear a sweater, but I would definitely wear like leggings, slippers and a t-shirt while I cook all day. And then for dinner, just toss on this sweater and be ready to go and look presentable and feel fabulous for the holidays. <laughs> All right, peeps, and another casual option, jeans and a sweater, another no brainer. So to be honest, I really don't wear jeans all that often. <laughs> Um, I have kind of like a love-hate relationship with denim, but this pair I recently got at H&M and they are the balloon fit. So they're like mom jeans and so they're very high waist and then they kind of uh, are relaxed in the thigh and then they taper a little bit more at the ankle and they're cropped. So I so, paired it with this Angora or like mohair blend sweater and again it has those like balloon sleeves that I love so much pair it with some sparkling earrings maybe even a chunky gold necklace would look cute with this one or again you could pop a little brooch on here on the side and since i'm wearing jeans i didn't want it to be too casual so i did throw on a pair of heels so these are those velvet lc pumps from j crew and there you go Another option I want to leave you guys with. I kept on the same sweater from the last album because um, it's my channel. I can do what I want. <laughs> but seriously, I wanted to give you guys a little dressier option. So, so as you can see, I've kept on the same sweater, but I have popped on a brooch, like I mentioned, just to give it a little bit of zhuzh. 
and we have swapped out our jeans and instead put on this gorgeous beautiful slinky satin um, midi skirt and yeah these again you can find these anywhere i'm actually going to do a video coming up about how to style slip dresses because those are still going strong this season i just got a new one from zara that i love so much so stay tuned for that but in the meantime again we have this satin midi skirt and then i have this fuzzy like cozy sweater on top and then for shoes i am pairing it with these metallic bronze manolo blonic pumps that i've had for years and there you go this is a very nice um outfit like sometimes we do go out for dinner on thanksgiving so we alternate every other year i cook and then the next year we go out <laughs> so this year i'm pretty much going to stay in and cook but if i were going out i probably would wear something like this i think this is very classy and elegant and again just a look that you really can't go wrong with so on to our last outfit <laughs> peeps and so for our final look we have the jumpsuit you know i couldn't resist i would say 80 percent of my wardrobe is comprised of one piece wonders as i call it so like dresses and jumpsuits because <laughs> who has time to coordinate a top and a bottom <laughs> So yes, this jumpsuit is Catherine Malandrino. I've had it for a few years now. I love it because it's made of this slinky material, but it's very like loose and comfy, but still flattering because it has a wrap top and then this little tie at the waist. So this one I have worn both casually and dressed up. So I've worn it with like just a pair of trainers and like a cardigan. And here, because, you know, it is a holiday lookbook, <laughs> I thought I would pair it with some sparkle on my toes. I got these pumps from J. Crew on like the clearance rack for maybe like 20 or 30 bucks a few years back. But I love these shoes so much. They're kind of like similar to those um, Manolo pumps with the, the jewels at the toe. But these were like much cheaper but still excellent quality so yeah i love this look so cute and so comfortable and now that i'm thinking about it i might wind up wearing this <laughs> for thanksgiving because i will be cooking oh yeah if you are gonna have a small gathering and you haven't finalized your menu yet don't forget to check out that blog post i mentioned before but in any case there you have it guys Whew. so we just went through seven outfit ideas for thanksgiving and whether you plan to go completely casual and low key or get super glammed up, hopefully you found some ideas from this video that you can incorporate into your Thanksgiving look. I know that this year's celebration is gonna look a lot different for a lot of us. Like I know for me, I'm not gonna be surrounded by like friends and family. Um, and even if you're just gonna be alone, I hope that you can find some joy and do something that makes you happy this holiday season. So I know for myself, <laughs> getting dressed up always is a boost to my morale and so um you know in times like this i do like to you know add some sparkle <laughs> to my daily life as always thank you guys so much for tuning in and listening to me talk about clothes i hope you guys have a happy happy thanksgiving and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications i put out videos like this weekly sometimes twice and as always stay classy and stay fabulous Thank you.